Hello, welcome back to Armchair Armory, and it's finished at Carrow Road, Norwich City, nil, Arsenal 5. To be honest, I was expecting more of a fight from Norwich. Uh, from what I'd seen with their game against Manchester United a couple of weeks ago, I, I was expecting something similar to that. I didn't expect this game to be so easy. I mean, they said on Sky, I think it was Graham Sooner, said that the game against Leeds would probably be the easiest away game that we've played this season I would actually argue to say this was probably the easiest away game we've played this season apart from maybe the first 10 minutes of the second half Norwich didn't really seem to pose any threat whatsoever they really did lack quality in that final third I must still think Puki is the same player that he was when Norwich came back into the Premier League two years ago but he wasn't that today but anyway going on to Arsenal it was a very complete performance it's what we needed I said we needed to win win this game and win this game well to keep that momentum going going into wars and then ultimately facing uh, Manchester City on New Year's Day starting lineup was a little bit um, different to usual I expected it to be the same lineup as what played against Leeds but that didn't happen I believe Tommy Yasu was out with COVID, so Ben White st stepped into the right back position. Holding came in in his place at centre back alongside Gabriel, um, and pretty much everything else was the same, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I think there are a couple of the people that were usually on the subs bench, like Maitland Niles, for example, I think were out with COVID as well. <clears throat> There's already been two games in this Boxing Day period that have been postponed, so yeah, it's it's pretty crazy and up in the air at the moment sometimes I think I heard them speaking on BT Sport today before the Palace Spurs game Peter Crouch and Rio Ferdinand saying that they weren't sure whether they had to go to work today because they weren't sure whether the game was going to be called off because I think some of their players not necessarily first team players have um, caught Covid and also Patrick Vieira has tested positive so it's all a bit crazy at the moment um but yeah, in general, I thought it was a very, very good performance. Uh, a, a brace from Saka. We scored very early through Saka, but in, in, he scored two goals. Penalty from Lacazette. A rare goal from Tierney. Um, I think the last time he scored was when last season when West Brom were in the in the Premier League, when he was given the nickname Tesco's or whatever it was because he carried his stuff in a Tesco bag. And uh, who was the the other person that scored oh Smith Rowe another game coming on score, coming off the bench and uh, scoring so it's all good Erdegaard played very very well today I think Ben White did brilliantly in taking over from Tomiyasu offered something different to Tomiyasu Tomiyasu doesn't really come forward as often Ben White seemed to do that a lot more I, I have to admit I came into the game like 6 minutes late or something or 10 minutes late something like that um, so when I saw I saw Ben White and I thought oh yeah the lineups the same and then all of a sudden I heard the commentator say holding and I was like what's going on how can so is Gabriel not playing then I heard Gabriel and I was like oh, oh okay yeah he's playing it he's playing Ben White at right back weird but anyway so yeah uh pretty good so we go into Tuesday's game against Wolves we're still sitting in fourth at the moment as far as I'm aware I think there are more games this evening in the Premier League just checking the table. We are now six points clear of Tottenham, who are in fifth, who beat Crystal Palace today, I think 3 0. Yeah, 3 0. And are there any more fixtures today? There is a game at eight between Brighton and Brentford, but that doesn't, so that doesn't affect us. I mean, I guess Man United playing Newcastle tomorrow does affect us in a way if United win. But yeah, at the moment we're, we're I mean, this is the famous last word, but we're comfortably in fourth at the moment. And I'm going to keep saying it. We just need to keep the momentum going. I know I say it a lot, but we just do. We just need to keep racking up those points. And maybe, just maybe, is it the Emirates? Maybe we can get something out of Manchester City. Who knows? But they are one <laughs> in one hell of form at the moment. You know, their last five games, 3-1. Well, fair enough, 1-0 against Wolves, 7-0 against Leeds, 4-0 Newcastle. Well, they won 6-3 today, so they conceded three goals. But, you know, with with City and the amount of quality they have on, on in their starting eleven and their second eleven, 
you know, you know they could easily get back into a game. So, you know, anything could happen. But uh, yeah, I'm pleased. I'm pleased that that for that for us now is, um, I think four, yeah, four wins in a row since the loss to Everton on uh, on December sixth. So it's pretty good. Southampton three 0 West Ham two 0 four one against Leeds, five 0 against Norwich. I think we've conceded in the last five games. I think we've only conceded two, and we have scored three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. Pretty good. It's a it's looking very different to what it looked like after United and Everton. Let's keep it up. I'm going to leave it there. Oh, I forgot to say, hope you all had a good festive period, whether you celebrate Christmas or not. Yeah, so I will be back again probably in the next day or so with the preview for the Wolves game on Tuesday. So until then, take care and stay safe.